I'm not sure if to put this one in the sports playlist or the comedy playlist. Uh, what's worse is what's worse than diving is when the referee gives gives it as an actual foul. Oh, God. You know it's not a foul when the player ends up about 20 foot further than the actual challenge. What? He's fallen over and he didn't have a ball! Oh, and out of it again. Diver. Disgusting. <laughs> he tripped himself up. Oh. Honestly, some, it's the fact that they know they're cheating, isn't it? You know, there's, there's nothing on him. He knows he's falling over because he wants a penalty. And then he's, you know, hands up to the referee screaming. There's just no contact. That's Alba's fault. Well done, referee. Tap the ball. <laughs> ah! This was, this was the other day. This was the other day. And it is someone touching, not pulling, touching your arm enough reason for you to fall to the floor. Is it? And the referee gave a penalty. But why? It's a semi-contact sport. He wasn't pulling him. He was touching his arm. Look, and he's fallen down. And he got a penalty. Look, he's not pulling him. Not one bit of his... Not the fingers. Oh, get up. Get up. I'm a Saints fan. And this happened to us... This happened to us uh, the other week. Is this enough for a penalty? He held his foot back. He's doing a Cruyff turn. And the referee gives a penalty. Now, sadly, <laughs> yes, he shouldn't have fallen to the floor. But yes, it should be a penalty. Why it should be a penalty? Because he had his shirt pulled, and shirt pulling is an offence. So actually, that one should be a penalty, but not. Still, no reason for the player to fall on the floor. Get up! Get up! There's no contact. The problem with having a dog and hard wooden floors. Jack really needs to wear proper shin pads, not kids ones. Oh, tripped himself up. <laughs> Oh Jesus! Oh well, that's that. Sadly, should be a um, line of conduct from from Christian too. <laughs> oh, it's just embarrassing. What's he holding his leg for? And now his head. Which bit does he want to be injured? That's Luis Suarez for you. Head, leg, everything. I know there's I know there's big money at stake here, but you know it's it's a it's a a lot of money involved in football. But it's 
it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Oh. Please don't. Please don't try and get a penalty from that. Yeah, he is. He's trying to get a penalty. I hope that yellow card. Oh, oh! Get a grip. Get a grip, honestly. Not even a single bit of contact on his head. How do they sleep at night? Well, probably quite well with the millions that they're paid. Oh, get up. Mane, Mane, when you arch your back, you know it's not a foul. Oh, Mane, not again. Oh, Mane. Such ability. And he does things like that. Oh. Oh, roll around, roll around, that'll get the decision. Why is he? He held his leg, he couldn't decide what he wanted. It was on his back, not even his head. Why do these footballers do that? It's embarrassing. Okay. So, if you watch this, Ronaldo signals for the referee to check check VAR. All right. No contact. But he wants them to check VAR. Does he really want them to check VAR? Like, there was no contact at all. Does he want to be proven to be an idiot? Go on, fall over, no, Mark. Yeah, you fall over. He didn't even pull your shirt then. No, he didn't pull your shirt. Please, that referee. Please. He's jumped about 10 feet. <laughs> Barbo knows he's dived. Oh, Salah. Salah. Got a slight contact, but is that enough? I'm not sure. Oh, tough one. That's Harry Kane, typical diving day, play from Harry Kane. <laughs> There's no contact. He knows, he knows he wants a penalty. He knows he's not going to score. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> I think that sums up. That sums up these players. Watch the smiling face from David Luiz. It sums. They know they're diving. They know. We've seen this one. Come on, send thirty-one. See how his legs, his legs just parted like They went as wide as possible to try and make contact. Get up. Get up. We've seen that one just from a different angle. He was seriously wanting a penalty when there was no one within five yards of him. Ah, oh, Raheem Sterling does it all the time. He does it all the time. It's amazing with all the cameras and, and VAR that they get away with it. Why is he holding his head? Oh boy. Ah, that, yeah. Raheem Sterling again. Like, he, knows, he knows he's not going to be able to score a goal, so he falls to the floor. Tripped over his own feet. Millions of pounds and you trip over your own feet. <laughs> it did, to be fair, the white did kick him out. Like, it completely missed him, but they still dived. <laughs> oh. It's like slow motion. Neymar. Neymar's known for his diving. Oh, he's straight back up. That's what you like to see when it don't go their way and they just stand straight back up. So this is this is a common occurrence then with Salah, how he holds his arm back. He holds his arm back just until he until he touches the other player and then falls over. But he keeps seeming to be getting these decisions. It's like a fish that's had his head chopped off that's just still got life in it. Deli Ali's also a serial diver. Look, he's got his hand again, look. Oh, no, that was just nothing, though. That was embarrassing. Well, that's a way to end it, isn't it? I think in the world today, in terms of diving, with especially at the top level with VAR, how, how are they getting away? How are they getting away with diving? So they, they con the referee... They may win a penalty, for example. VAR is there to check it. Why are they not saying to the referee, actually, he's dived? Or, yes, we think he's dived. Go look at the monitor. Because there's a monitor pitch side. Now, it was the same thing. Um, Southampton got absolutely spanked uh, by Man United a few weeks back. And it was stupid scoreline. And Martial was in front of goal. He was diving to the floor. Bednarak, the centre-back, was trying to get out of his way. And made contact as Martial was diving. He was halfway on the floor. However, he, the penalty was awarded and the Saints player got sent off. But surely the first incident, you have to take it in order, so the first incident was Martial diving. Why was that not brought up as a dive? It doesn't make sense. You know, with VAR, you've got an extra pair of eyes who can look at things from different angles. How is it still allowed? These players need to be punished. They need to be fined. 
because otherwise it will keep happening. And like I said in the video, it's a it's a billion billion pound billion dollar billion euro industry. They try and win at all costs. It's gamesmanship. They try and win at all costs because it is it's valuable. It's worth so much money. However, you are cheating to win. FAs around the world have to do something about it. FIFA have to do something about it to try and crack down on it to punish these players and teams that are seen doing it. Well, that's my opinion on it anyway. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Once again, like, share and subscribe. And I'll catch you later.